writing your CV, I be your apologizing. That apology is three over ten. You didn't pass the course. Go and write it again. See me, it's not properly written. After eight months, that's what you came up with. Organ, no. The answer is no. You bring it back again. The remix with your busy body. Hey, 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 this is the remix. Hey, hey, this is what works. The things are happening. Where is the things are happening? Problem. Problem. My name is Asitonka Agri Abba and the channel is called Asi Darling because I'm such a damn. <laughs> Please consider subscribing and to all my OGs, you know what to do. Comment down below, let me know. Gang, gang. Now, first of all, I have to apologize. I have been missing this December. You know, we've tried from January to November giving consistency. But December vibes, December weddings. I have gist for you people. Don't worry. There's a reason I've been missing. Gist is coming. But first of all, my place of primary assignment. A lot has been happening in the Edoche Kingdom, okay? A lot has been happening and once again, I welcome you to keeping up with the Edoches. I have been seeing some things and we've been ignoring, but this one is breaking news. Finally, finally. I don't know how I feel about it, but Yule Edoche has finally apologized to his wife, um, May. Guys, it's been, it's been how many months? it's been how many months like i don't even know if i should be happy because i'm not happy i'm exhausted it's not even me that's in the marriage and i'm exhausted i think this story broke april may june july august september october november this is, oh my God, eight whole months eight months for those of you that have not watched please check out i have an entire playlist of when i started begging this guy to apologize publicly to his wife I have it. There's evidence. Thankfully, we have darlings that have been on this channel. But of course, we clocked 73,000. I was hailing everybody on the um, live stream, the last live stream we had. So thank you guys so much. Let's get to the real G. So on Sunday, Sunday, we we're just generally chilling, unprovoked. You Ledoche dropped a long post. Let me read the post for you people. You Ledoche wrote, I'm a very proud polygamist with my full chest. Read Exodus 21 verses. 10. The Bible acknowledges polygamy. It is my destiny. God directed me to do it so I can give my son a proper identity. Therefore, it came with many blessings. Blessings for me, blessings for my wife, Queen May, to calm her down because as a human being, she would definitely not be happy about it. And blessings for my wife, Judy, as well. I am a very solid man of God with so much grace. You may not understand my life and say negative things about me. I won't blame you. It's my life, not yours. So you're not supposed to understand it. Dear Lord, I acknowledge your abundant blessings in my life, in the life of my family. I must say thank you. My mouth will forever testify. May your almighty name be praised forever and ever. Now, a lot of people tag me. Shout out to the darlings that tag me. In fact, one particular one tag me and I'm like, see... David and Bathsheba have stressed me this year. I can't go into this thing now. I'm just, I'm, I'm, they are all matataya me. Because from time to time, the last video I did about them was the alleged rumor that Judy is pregnant. We are getting somewhere. Rumor from Jesus Lover that, hey, Judy has gone for Antinatalo. Baby number two is coming. Do you get that kind of thing? So I did that video. And even when they were doing one or two banters here and there, I was just ignoring it because I was fed up. Even on the video, I was like, see, at this point, then you put as long as I look at May and she's glowing, she's flourishing, she's going to the UK. You know, his father even came out. So people tagged me on that one and were like, Oh, Peter Duchi has come out to say something about you and um May's marriage as he do a video and let's like, see. In fact, I did the video, but I didn't post it. I did the video when I went to see one of my friends. I was like, I beg this matter, I, I can't post it. I'm tired. Now, on that video, what I said was Yes, Peter Doche did the video and said, oh, um, he was not in support, but Solomon married 700 wives and had 300 concubines. And he was the, he was the uh, um, wisest man in the Bible. That's, that's what Peter Doche said. That he was not in support, though, but this is what he read in the Bible. Listen, Solomon was not wise because of the wives he had. Please, can you name one wife of Solomon? His wisdom was not was never as a result of his marriage. And, the, and if you know what brought Solomon down, you will know it's his wife's. The fact that he got so... He, when he got to a point, he said vanity upon vanity. These wives, the money, everything is vanity. 
Because at the end of the day, it's wisdom that is profitable to direct. His wisdom did not direct him. He is the wisest man. But he made certain mistakes that, in fact, when you think of Solomon, you think of Solomon pre the wives. So don't even compare. And that was why, if, if the video I did, eh, for 10 minutes, I didn't even upload it because I was like, this family is, come on, as long as it's my maid. My maid is doing fine. Small UK she went to, you put are dropping interviews. What's all that? Calm down, relax. Relax. And I, I said something on the video. I said, I feel like the family, they have this, everybody's on edge. Like, her name is still May Yole Are you my wife? Are you not my wife? Are we divorced? Are we separated? Like, you don't even know where you stand. So, of course, everybody's on easy. Because she has not even answered. She's just living her life. She's just chilling. But that doesn't mean we should go to the point of hurt. We should go to the point of pain. So, unprovoked, though, this man dropped this thing. No wahala. So, I don't know what happened behind the scenes. But, yeah, um, May recently dropped a post. Like, some pictures where she took. I think this was London. And she wrote on that um, Instagram post. She said, yesterday... I had an unexpected and unpleasant experience. I was shocked to my to the core. But you know what they say? Life has got a lot of twists and turns. Hold on tight and off you go. So I am wishing a beautiful morning and a fruitful day ahead. That was all she wrote. Chejeli, easy. We just did a chill. I was like, right now I'm even at the bank. Before coming to the bank, I was just chilling and my husband sent me. Only for me to look. Uncle Yo has finally, after eight months, after the number of months that people used to use and give birth to a whole child, he has finally decided to apologize publicly after shaming her publicly. And I demanded and I said in all my previous videos that it would be best for you to apologize publicly and stay off social media so that all these insults and things will stop. Because honestly, eh, we don't derive pleasure in dragging you. Do you get? You, Le Doce, was one of those actors that. I think it's the love, the amount of love people had for him and finding out, finding out that he did this kind of thing when extreme love or excess love turns to hatred, it is, there's no middle. It's like, it's either they love you too much or they hate you too much. That's just the problem. And that's why initially I suggested that if you has a, has a PR routine, please guys, seize his phone. Please guys, switch off his comment section. And to do the switch off your comment section. I know you want people to be talking and all of that. Switch it off. Thankfully, he listened because this is new apology. He switched off comment section. Better. Let people react in their mind. Let people react. It's best you switch off your comment section. There's a reason Sami Okoso apologized and left social media. Switched off comment section. Because sometimes the comments you, you read, it can add to your depression. I'm telling you, like, nobody is perfect. We are not telling you that you're a boss. Sometimes then switch it off. Do your begging. Keep apologizing. Switch off comment section. Because people say, why are you saying sorry now? Why are you doing this or now? Why you? It's fine. Thankfully, he switched it off. That way, he's not hearing all those, like, feedback of why are you saying sorry now? Will not forget, forgive you. She has moved on. You know, all those kind of things. It's just best this way. So, let me read out the apology he, he gave. He said, to my dear wife, Queen May Yule Doche, I acknowledge that I hurt you deeply. And I've apologized to you countless times. I take the blame for my actions. I agree with you that polygamy shouldn't be forced on anyone. You never bargained for it from the beginning, neither did I. But I guess life happens. You already know the whole story. I didn't do it to disrespect you. I didn't do it to replace you. No, because I do not love you anymore. No, I've always loved you and always will. I have been a good husband and a wonderful father. I've supported all your hustle from day one. I have been an exceptional father to our children till date, making sure they lack nothing and always there for everyone. Out of 100, I have done 99 things right. Hating me because of one thing isn't the best. Nobody is perfect. I'm not. You're not. Nobody is except God. I assure you that nobody is trying to take your place. I have apologized to you countless times. Sincerely from my heart, I am sorry. I will, I've always loved you and always will. Butu Wai Oma. Butu Wai Oma. We can live peacefully and happily. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Eh, I'm sorry, oh. I'm not, I'm not about to analyze your apology, but I will. Bro, are you writing your CV? I be apologizing. Hold on, hold on. I acknowledge that I deeply hurt you. Before we will relax that you have said sorry well. 
and I have apologized countless times. We're like, okay, so you have apologized, so, so. Uh -huh. I take, you see, oh, we're, we're now going back to relaxing. I take the blame for my actions, which shows remorse. I agree with you. Polygamy shouldn't be forced on anyone. Who shows remorse? You never bargained for this from the beginning. Who shows remorse? Guess what he said? Neither did I. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? But I guess life happens. Hello? Is this, this is it. Samuel Kosu is late. Like, rest his soul. I should have even brought that his... You! I told you to copy the exact thing Samuel Kosu wrote there. Don't remove you, you, you the add things. Don't remove anything, bro. Copy it. Remove his name. Put your name. Remove his wife's name. Put main name. Don't change. You're going to change and you're scattering. Look at it now. But I, but I guess life happens. You already know the whole story. I didn't do it to disrespect you. I didn't do it to replace you. Neither did I do it because I don't love you. We don't they relax. I've always loved you. And I always will. Shena apology. Bro started giving his CV. I have been a good husband and a wonderful father. Is that the discussion? I have supported all your hustle. You don't they count things when you do. Bro, listen. It's not about supporting her. Are you telling us sorry? Or you're reminding us of the number of times you wash plates? Or the number of times you looked after children that are your children? You are writing that you are supported hustle. She did not support your own hustle. I don't understand. Uh, let them know now say that I see apology have come now. People are digging it. But people should read though. Eh? Listen, no. oh, narcissistic people. Eh? You people thought we were just throwing names. I supported your hustle. I've been an exceptional father to our children to date, making sure that they lack nothing. And I'm always there for everyone. Nice one, nice one, including Judy. Out of 100. I've done 99 rights. <laughs> this one you decided to do wrong. It's not you snoring. You didn't choose that one. You did not choose the fact that you don't like to wash plates as you're wrong. You didn't choose that one. You did not choose the fact that you did not choose light things to do wrong. You chose to bring a whole human wife and a whole physical baby as your own wrong. You don't know that there is degree in wrongness. So you want to compare stubbornness to what you did. Or you want to, I don't even wonder, it's not making sense. 99, really, you, you didn't say 90. You gave yourself 99. You're a bad person. Uh, listen, people say I'm, I'm dissecting. Hold on. He now said, hating me because of one thing isn't the best. <laughs> Where you meet this girl? God. Hating me because of one thing isn't the best. One thing. One thing, you. Is, this is one thing. This whole situation, man, I one thing. Other people have cases that they have in their home, so nobody is perfect. Though. We know. But you chose the heavy one. You are trying to make her to forgive you. Like somebody that the, the husband went to a club and forgot himself and slept off in the club. He didn't come home. You and the guy, you the first one or two wife to forgive the same time. I don't understand. I don't understand. It's not going to work. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Don't. You should have had one PR person vet this your uh, this thing. It's not no. It's a no for me. Let me. I will not score you yet. Let me finish it. Listen, he now said uh, hating me because of one thing isn't the best. Nobody is perfect. You you should have stopped there. You you should have stopped there, but you did not. Now because now you you now said I am not. You are not. <laughs> I've missed this story. See, I've missed keeping up with the Adoche series because sometimes you go just there, they laugh. This thing is, it's almost, it's almost like it's not real. It's almost like it's a joke. Are we joking here? Yeah, apologizing to her. You're adding, nobody's perfect. Stop. 
if I vex this thing, I stop there. You want to, you continue. I am not. You are not. You, the person where they hate me because of one thing. Let me put it to you that you are not, too. <laughs> I assure you, nobody is trying to take your place. You, learn. listen, 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 listen. I don't think May is worried about place taking. Because it's, it's already done. Take her place in where? As a wife. You have a second wife. Uh, take her place in your heart. Do you hate your second wife? Are you don't you love yourself? Because this story they tell us here, it they make us seem as if you don't love Judy. But that she's hashtagging Judy uh, Judy Yole Doche everywhere. You are not married, it's not marriage of convenience, it's an actual actual marriage where she's flaunting you also as her husband. So there's love there. You cannot come now because I want to say sorry now. You want to lie. You want to lie that feelings is not in that one. Sir, if this lover is correct and Auntie Judy is, is pregnant, you, you initially in your first post, you said you did it to give your son a proper home. This new child, you want to give the child a what? Was that one too mistake? <laughs> he now, see, listen, I know that you have apologized to her countless times. When you're writing this type of thing, no repeat and two times. You know wrote again. I have apologized to you countless times. You are you forgetting that you wrote it up? That's like the first line. Now you wrote it again from my heart. Come on now. Come on, you. We can live peacefully and happily. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I personally eh, I don't know. You know, for me right now, what I will even advise me, sis, follow your heart. Oh. If you want to be in a situation it's fine if you want to co-parent in peace it's fine but do not allow anybody push this there you what you wrote is you got instruction from the bible from god to be a polygamist tell god to call me now do you understand like he can't be telling only you you should call you your first wife too to inform her so that that's that's how it goes your instruction from God now, you're using it to force all of us. It's not possible. Do you get that kind of thing? Because your wife is not being wicked for her to say, don't force it on me. You, you are here writing that you're a proud polygamist. Like that was what he even started with. And I'm sure it was very heartbreaking. You have never apologized. If not that, maybe she went to write that this thing really shook her to her bone or what. That you finally in December, something of April. Something of April. You stomped her, her foundation, made it about yourself. You, you keep almost embarrassing her. Not even almost. Embarrassing her. She no, one day, she has not embarrassed you. She has not embarrassed your family. She has not done expose about your secret life. All those kind of things. Just kept quiet. Your auntie second wife is giving us... Should I tell my story? Will you believe my story? If I give you my story, she's giving us all those vibes. Nobody said anything. May did not worry you. And now this kind of apology guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section i'm not just being um how would i put it i'm not just being one of those people that want to be finding fault in everything no but bro this is not it you should have it has taken too long for you to make the mistake of writing a shabby apology letter i'm trying to look for some of person's apology letter that i told you to copy copy this thing in exam nobody knows everything go and copy this thing no he did not he no you are too big. I know Sami Okosu, for those of you that do not know, he's late. And there was a lot of fracas when he came out that a lady in the US was pregnant for him. She went on to a YouTuber's channel and it was a lot. He faced a lot of things in terms of the church community and all of that. But one thing he did was the, the first and only acknowledgement he made was a proper letter. These things were happening like early this year. We're having just those stories from Messiah Igbe's matter. Peru and Two Face started at one point and it was just crazy. Before this use matter, it happened. So what he said, and we're, I'm just going to read this like sharp sharp. So that those of you that are saying, I see, there's nothing wrong. We also know. Sorry if this video is getting too long. I mean, I've missed you people. We've missed this series, okay? So let's start. He said, some person wrote, Dear friends, this was his letter. Dear friends, I need to bring a very unfortunate incident to your attention as I am not proud of it, but know that this is the right thing to do if they listen you do bro you they hear on my recent trip to the u.s 
late 2021, I got intimately involved with a lady, knowing that this was not appropriate as a married man and as a minister of the gospel. I'm ashamed of my actions and as it has caused a lot of pain to my dear wife, Ozioma, and my family and I. I told you to remove this Ozioma, put me. Remove this US, put Enugu. You understand? How they used to copy? Then you continue. I do not say don't go and add any of your vibe. Look at apology and copy. You say no. See what you went to write. As I walk in making peace with God and repenting and asking for his forgiveness, I am suspending myself from ministry until full restoration as this is what is proper and what I owe to God and his people. Oh God. You have to be a, an evil person to read this thing and say no touch you. To my wife, Ozioma, another paragraph. Specially, I am sincerely sorry I put you through this shameful and embarrassing situation. I broke your trust and disappointed you. Your forgiveness of my moral failure and poor judgment is important to me. I pray I will continuously be able to build that trust and confidence every single day for the rest of my life. Did you see I have done 99 out of 100? Abina, why do you still hate me? Hating me will not solve it. Did you people, did I read anything like that? He went on to write, I want to take this moment and apologize to all the fathers and mothers of the faith, ministers of the gospel, for my behavior and moral failure. I won't be here if not for your investment and belief in what God has called me to do. I sincerely apologize for this embarrassing situation. Apologizes to God, the wife, the ministers, and to all that have been part of my ministry. That's how it ended followed my ministry and all know me personally i'm sorry for disappointing you i regret any pain and disappointment this news of my moral failure and poor judgment may cost you i am truly sorry for disappointing you and i humbly ask that you continue to pray for me samuel Kosu. guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section come on come on me that i'm doing series you if not this thing where you write how, what series do i have now what, what would I write? This entire keeping up with uh, the Duchess, would it, would it have been a talk? There was nothing about his personal commitment and everything he has done. There's nothing about nobody's perfect. I'm not, you're not. Did you read that? No, he didn't write that. I know that it's not good to compare, but it's hard for us not to see that you still brought narcissistic vibe into that your apology. No, the answer is no. That apology is 3 over 10. 3 over 10. It's not even, you didn't pass the course. 3 over 10 go and write it again see me that apology what did they write is see me see me it's not properly written it's not properly written you cannot do what you did and you cannot type it you're supposed to type it you're supposed to type it put letterhead paper after eight months that's what you came up with organ no the answer is no we are all we have all entered you say all of us should enter this marriage all of us who have entered inside, go and write it well. It's, it's a no for me. Mm, it's a no for me. I know that, um, you know the way life is. Uh, a lot of people will be asking, like, Asi, really? Have you met me? Did you know me from anywhere? But truly, from my heart, no. You can know this channel. Even when we talk about all these couples, things, and marry, I just say it and move on. Are they cast? And um, Messiah Igbe's matter. I just said they did some stories and I left. I didn't talk about Fonshaw. I didn't carry Fonshaw. Fonshaw's own was 20 years old, three children. I don't live on. But May's own was just different. And I feel like sometimes it's, it's, it might sound somehow for me to say, like God led me to carry this matter on my head. I carry this matter to the point where everybody's like, I see, wait in self. Because it's almost like somebody is crying, the pain somebody's feeling. The... Do you know how many women were invested in this matter? She will be so shocked. Married women, mothers, aunties invested in this matter. For months and months and months, we watch you, Ledoche, flaunt Judy, do Ide Choke, do Ego Pen them, do all sorts of things. All sorts of things. And then eight months later, right before Christmas, he comes up with this. Bro, it's three. Three over ten. I can't do this. Three over ten, please. Three, you are even the lucky thing you have is that me, I'm not your official in law. It's three over ten. No? It cannot fly you are, because you're posting her, so we should not forgive you. Like, what's, what's that supposed to be? No, you can't force polygamy on her. No, she does not want to be in a polygamous marriage. 
It's like me going to bring boyfriend and saying that God led her to have two husbands. Mm hmm What of the woman at the well that had seven? She God would have led since she read it in Bible. Because everything they re you read in Bible that you should do, you are sitting on Old Testament. What of the one that they told in New Testament, one man, one wife, if you cannot stay, don't marry. What of all those ones? Those ones do not concern you. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about this apology? Um, for me, it was poorly written. Written from a place of, eh, it's okay, now it's enough now. Will you be angry with me forever? And it sounds very much like you. It sounds very much like what he can write. And it's sad. It's sad. For me, I don't know. It's sad. You should have gotten a proper PR person to write it because you can't do this. What be the one way they shine eye for person, not they bring out. You are just shining your eye. Writing, I love you, I've always loved you. It's not even... What's the gain? What's the benefit? <laughs> What's the benefit, bro? Your father just came out and said that it's your choice. And you know the thing with marriage, eh? I don't like how this year made married women feel. I don't know. Guys, I don't know. Was it only me? This year made married women feel like we have to, you know, everybody has to have plan B. Oh. Where they sit down, no sit down with full yan, she sit down with one yan, you know? Just kind of perch. Look at your husband with two eyes because uh, you and your two years re uh, marriage. Oh, no monkey shall say. You, you don't write. right. You are giving us hot takes. How to keep a man two years, Amaka, two years. You are stressing us. Those of us will be five. You know, ah, five years, you're like, ah, my leg is strong. Some of us, seven, want to open counseling department. This year, show us a 20, they scatter. 17, they scatter. 25, they scatter. That American celebrities, how many years marriage? 20 something years. He said he's still in love with his childhood friend of 40 years ago. Bro, of Jesus. <laughs> This year was, there's a way, there's a way this year made a lot of us feel and it's not nice. It's not nice. You know why? Because when, when women get married, everybody tells us like, oh, this is your new family, this is your new father, this is your new mother, everything they say. And then something like this happens and his father comes out and says it's his choice. So who is defending the married woman? Who is, who is speaking up for the married woman? It's not easy. You know, life happens. You're saying life happens as if there wasn't a relationship that brought about this baby. You're saying life happens as if the story Mr. Obasi told us is dust. I don't understand. Like, I don't know. I'm over reading it because people know that we've done 20-something videos about this matter. We've been begging this man and his ancestors. We've been begging him to beg this woman. Put her feelings into consideration. Stop doing this thing you're doing. Tell you, there's a way you treat your wife. They did not bond you the way to be dropping, dropping eh, 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 shady comments. There's a way you carry your wife. I've said it in a video before. I said there are married men that are cheating. Side chick. If the side chick is sitting in this car, wife come. She go act as if she be PA. They did not bond her way to look into madam's eye. There's how some men are in this day. Are who you your own? Hey, pastor, he say he's a servant of God, he's called. You own you carry your own. They do video, they do, they choke. And what was that stupid song they were singing? I, I want to be a billionaire. Oh, they, having fun. Your wife was crying. The two of you were doing 100k per post because, I mean, there was buzz, there was clout. Come on. And now see what you wrote. This was what you came up with. When I saw it, when my husband sent, sent me, it was so funny. People were just tagging me like, a lot of people like, Asi, Asi, the moment the thing came in there, that's when I know that, ah, people have been following this series. Asi, come and see, Asi, come and see, Anna. I'm like, ah, where finally. Only for me to start reading. I'm like, oh, okay, maybe there's a flip, maybe there's a second apology. That, this was all you came up with. How you've done 99 things and she can't hate you for one thing and I mean, it's not the best. A good father, you've been there for everybody. You've supported her hustle because you supported her to have supermarket. So therefore, she should support you to sleep with another woman and bring a whole human baby into the world. Wow. I mean, oranges are oranges, right? Those two things are brackets. I support your hustle. You support my side chick movement. So, uh, 
Boko Haram and somebody that steal meat from pots. That's the same thing. Dupes. <laughs> Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Crazy things are happening. This one. So, like, you, you, 2022, you and Judy, I have never, I see who passed me. I see who passed, I thought that, you know, initially there was a day I said, I'm going to stop this thing, but if you come outside, I come outside. It got to a point there, you will come outside, I cannot come outside. He so stressed me. I see who passed me. Ah, no, 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 you passed me. But seriously, and what do you guys think about this whole thing? And, you know, we've been discussing we've been talking shout out to all my new subbies that have come in uh, uh, the, in fact the channel is mixed a lot of people bench gang this is the, uh, our bench matter and the bench today is even confused because we don't know what's up we don't know what's going i feel like the ball is in may scott and i really don't know because uh, do you guys understand yeah at this point i really don't know um what I would say is this was not a good year for people that grew with their husbands. This was not a good year. All the people that built, the builders, men builders association, this was a bad year for them worldwide. Adekas and um, his wife, Fonsho, built with Adekas, invested in him. He came out and he married Messiah Igbe. May invested invested built house with the man came out in a judy and um, paul okoye and anita anita school the lady of fatima here from university reason with me she reason with you finish you know reason with her at the end no be so are you counting different people different people like this year was just this year was somehow you know and it's not it's not encouraging. Nobody's saying that, of course, some marriages do not have like irreconcilable difference. But when it's targeted solely to the people that suffered with the man, you know that kind of thing. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Even then, Julius Agu, Julius Agu that came out, me, I even did video for him. Said I didn't post it because I was like, I beg, no need. Came out later and said his wife just walked out. Which walk out? All of us know the real story now. Somebody that stayed with you when you had two more. I had brain seizure, put her hand in your mouth so that your tongue doesn't go back. She was dead through all the seizures. You're coming out and looking for a baby. You're falling sick and it's your wife. At some point, somebody will get tired. You know? It's sad. It's sad. And um, I think I, I, when you sit and talk with some married people, they now start saying things like, oh, more, anything you want to do, if you want to marry, marry. If you don't want to marry, you know? There was a way. I don't know. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below because it almost seemed like I, can't, I don't have encouragement to give you everybody they find your own encourage you get that kind of thing and um i really pray that you know may continues to find peace continues to you know develop herself um let's see pregnancy cannot hide do you understand pregnancy cannot hide so may what on the street is that judy is pregnant for baby number two if baby number two is coming this apology is null and void this apology does not exist this apology in fact should be coming through lawyer because it should be properly written this is not an apology i don't i don't come on no the answer is no this is not it this is not it mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. because on sunday today is what today is wednesday sunday you're a proud polygamist wednesday you're just telling your wife okay so forgive you don't do that sir you don't do that and that proud polygamist post is still up you don't do that sir that's not how you don't bomb you don't bend somebody's hand backward come, come on uh, uh, forgive me forgive me is not enough you don't do that sir that's not how it works that's not how it works like i don't know i don't know what else to say but may god just strengthen her because it's it's tough enough that her entire business is open for us to judge like it's even tough it's tough imagine that she even wants to really forgive you and then she watches this video like me my own and i look at her husband's apology i say it's three over ten you know there's just the way it is it's a lot oh it's a lot let's forget talk it's a lot so it, it's almost like the public the entire public is scrutinizing your relationship and it's weird i get it i get it but bro brought it online and you know how it is so there are only just a few of us that are really committed to see whatever you say if you say you forgive him and you put come to terms with how you want to do the marriage no wahala if you say you want to leave him no wahala if you say you go to that house but you no go leave her you no go come out you no go stay you know those kind of things that is the confusing part that's the part that 
See, eh? she needs to do school of how to make people run mad. You don't even know. Judy is there sitting. She doesn't know if she's first wife or second wife or only wife. Because the first wife knows the answer you. She says she knows they do polygamy, but she never removes a name. You is there. Your wife is not answering you. Eight months now. You are begging. She's saying no. But she's still bearing your name. So you don't know if you have two wives or you have one wife. You don't like everybody had the scatter. That is the best way to act. Sometimes just chill, just pause. And you know some other times, you know the courts, you have to actually have had an issue for like two years, I've been at one year before they start processing anything. So for me, I just feel whatever her options are, she should just continue to live her life gently. It must have taken a lot of strength for her to get herself out of that depression and the thoughts that she had. You know, she came out and said it openly. It's not easy for her to have done that. I am aware that lo uh, you was a, lo uh, a love bombing kind of husband. So he's not, he's not lying in the part of him always showing that love, but this was the height of deceit. Because if he was a cheating husband that was scattering everywhere or jumping up and down, it would have been one of those things that you probably saw coming and all of that. But it's well, it's well, guys. I don't want this video to drag too much. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. You can tell already that I missed you people so, so much. I did, like, I did. Okay, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As usual, I remember your girl. As see darling. Please check out my other videos. Check out the playlist. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.